I've always felt that activism is a very creative mm -hmm. practice. And where we fail and where we're most threatened is our, the limits of our imagination. And especially, I think, for racial activism in a white supremacist world, our imagination is so boxed in by white supremacy that our definition of freedom is even boxed in by white supremacy. And what I'm constantly worrying and fighting against is the limitations, and sometimes it's generational and sometimes it's not, mm -hmm. of what we can imagine in the future. And it's so revelationary to me to see this just imagination, vast imagination of the past and the future. And actually to mm -hmm. see some of this story play out of like, these are mm. my limitations. Mm. Um, because I'm constantly telling people like, I know, I don't know what freedom looks like. Mm. And my grandkids one day are gonna say, why didn't you see this? Why did right. you, why did you stop us here when we could have mm -hmm. done more? Yeah. And I'm excited about that day where someone introduces a new possible future to me. Mm -hmm. and. But at the same time, I had never considered like what fiction mm. could do in that. And I think partially because mm -hmm. speculative fiction has so long been white. And I think oftentimes, too, more interested in glorifying the past in a different form than mm. imagining a better future, imagining a revolutionary future mm -hmm. that I looked at that and I got I got so excited about like, oh my gosh, what would it be like if kids grew up on this? Mm -hmm. If black kids grew up on this? Mm -hmm. And we're just constantly reminded that mm -hmm. they're what they see right now is not the limit of what they can achieve. Mm -hmm. And it's not even in the bounds mm -hmm. of what they may want to achieve. And I just so right. I loved I loved that story for that. I just sat there like marinating in the possibilities of it all and wondering like if I could talk to a group of school kids and while they're reading this mm -hmm. and be like so what would it look like for you <laughs> you know what what would your dream be you know I it, it was lovely so I just I loved that story so much you said a thing in there that I think is really true um, which is that activists need to need to be able to imagine a, a whole other way of living um, that that is inherently revolutionary um, and and that just like yes that is that is the thing <laughs> and and you have to do it you have to you have to like actively try and, and imagine a new way of being because you're working against mythology already